Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Prediction. Obviously the FA Cup one took place this previous weekend. So the results on our Capital One is the uh, results the weekend before. Um, and then obviously you can tell which one I'm going to go. You're into the next round of the FA Cup. I will talk about that result in the next round of FA Cup Predictions video. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that is by letting people know about my channel, letting people know about my videos, um, share my videos, you know, get the word out, and there will be a special video once that goal is reached. Um, guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Blackpool versus Wimbledon. Blackpool beating Peterborough 4-3 at home. Um, you know, with the likes of Blackpool, how they're coming around, um, you know, over the past few weeks. Not a bad uh, three points for Blackpool. Seven goal thriller. Um, a game from a neutral point of view that I would very much like to see. Um, you know, it's Peterborough fans kind of that bad a day either, if I'm honest. You know, it's just a shame that uh, Peterborough uh, lost 4-3. Um, but on the Wimbledon point of view, 1-1 one -one against Lincoln. I'd say a pretty good point for Wimbledon. Um, you know, with the lights of where Wimbledon are at the minute and obviously where Lincoln are going, so probably a point of peace is fair. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton versus MK Dons. Bolton beating Fleetwood 2 1 at home. MK Dons loses to Tramia at home 3 1. I am absolutely delighted with Blackpool getting that three points. Um, obviously, you you watch my videos, you know how I feel about Bolton. Um, I've got family based up in Bolton as well. Um, but I'm absolutely over the moon that they got in the first three points um, ever since coming up. Uh, well, near the administration. Um, a big step forward that is for Bolton. And like a team like Fleetwood, that is a big statement as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, with the lights of where we're going to end up this season. I think at this minute in time, I know we've still got points deducted. I think it's minus two now. Um, I think I will escape the relegation zone come the end of the season. Um, MK Dons, on the other hand, this point at home to Tramia. Losing 3-1, if MK Dons are looking up, um, which is what their chairman said last time they were live on Sky, and I watched that game, um, that's not a way to go, I think, no disrespect to Tramia, if MK Dons want to start looking up, Tramia are the teams they're going to have to try and beat, um, you know, so, disappointing day for MK Dons, great day for Bolton, hoping that Bolton can continue it this weekend, and I'm going to predict for them to do that, and I've gone for a 2-1 Bolton win. My next one is supposed to be Bristol Rovers versus Sunderland. Match postponed um, due to international call-ups. My next game is supposed to be, I think this is the first time ever I've done back-to-back -back, um, postponed games due to international call-ups. And that was Burton Albion versus Southend. Um, as I said, I think it's the first time I've done that. So we move on. Um, my next one, and this game is going ahead, hopefully, um, is Coventry versus Rochdale. Um, where do you... Coventry, 0-0 nil -nil against Akkogan Stanley. Um, I, mm, I don't know how to sum that one up. I'm probably... Bit disappointed on the Coventry City point of view. Um, 
Mr. Fowler's. You know, as I said, how are you summing that up? Uh, there's a lot, um, you know, to take into account with Coventry. One, they're not at their home. Two, their home grounds. I think it's like 70 odd miles away, I might be wrong. Um, but if I was a Coventry City fan, I'd probably be expecting the three points from Acker and Stanley. Um, but they didn't, and a good point for Atkinson, I'll get more onto that with the Atkinson point of view um, when I get down to the Atkinson game. Um, Rochdale loses 2-1 at home to Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers game has got postponed, um, as I mentioned. Rochdale loses 2-1 um, at home to them. This, yet again... That sort of result um, from Rochdale could be a survival, um, you know, three points if I got them, but I didn't. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one now Coventry City win. My next one is supposed to be Doncaster Rovers versus Shrewsbury. Yet again, game postponed international call ups. Um, so, my next one is Gillingham versus Lincoln. Lincoln 1 1 away to Wimbledon. Gillingham loses 3 0 at home to Wolfram. Um, I'll probably say, I wouldn't say that's fair on Gillingham. Um, you know, being at home, you're probably expecting maybe a one goal. Um, if you're a fan of any of these clubs or a fan of any football team, please feel free to speak your comments down below as well. But it's just very disappointing that, um, you know, Jinnan got beaten 3-0 at home. Um, great point for Lincoln, um, as I've stated. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is supposed to be Oxford versus Itchridge. Yet again, game postponed international call ups, so we move on. Um, my next game is supposed to be, I can't, I can't believe how many games have been called off in League One due to international call ups. Um, it's supposed to be Portsmouth versus Fleetwood, as I've just stated. Postponed international call ups. These two games I'm about to talk about are going ahead at this moment in time. Um, my next game is Rotherham versus Akrakan Stanley. Akrakan Stanley 0 0 away to Coventry. Rotherham beating Gillingham 3 0 away from home. Good point for Atkinson. If I was an Atkinson Stanley fan, I'd probably be happy with that point, but if you're an Atkinson Stanley fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, Wolfram, great day away at Gillingham. 3 0 winners. Um, you know, well, Wolfram can end up coming the end of the season. And that's the question that I'd be sitting on, you know, come the end of the season. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Wolfram win. My last one for this weekend is Tramiart versus Wickham. Wickham beating Shrewsbury Town 1 0 at home. Um, great three points for Wickham. Tramiart beating um, MK Dons 3 1 away from home. Great three points for Tramiart as well. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Wickham win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big crack on if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out for that.